YouTube. So this is my look for today, my dead look. Um, so if you want to keep, um, if you want to see how I've done this, keep watching. And also, this is kind of this can be used in many different ways, like a dead school girl, like a zombie look, like just anything. So I think it's really good. Um, and if you want to keep, uh, if you want to see how I've done it, okay. So I'm going to start by. Um, I'm not putting any foundation on because. I don't actually have any foundation that is like quite pale, so I'm just going to use this like uh, Max Factor Cream Puff. I'm just going to put it on my face, um, just to kind of even out my skin tone, because it won't give you much color, but I'll just even it out a wee bit. Okay, so now that it's done that, I'm just going to grab a black eyeshadow, which is just this wee MEA one for a pound, and it's in shade twenty, and just this like wee like almost blusher brush. And I'm just gonna put this. I'm just gonna put this on my cheekbones. And don't worry, everything will be blended out properly. And I suggest if, like, when you're doing this, to wear like an old T-shirt or something, just in case the fall like gets on your clothes. Especially if you're using like a cheapish um, eyeshadow to do this, because I find cheaper eyeshadows have a lot of fallout. And remember, like, nothing has to be perfect because the whole point of this is to look dead and to look a little bit, like, dirty. Almost. And you can do it up onto your temples, too. Just anywhere where you would normally contour, really. It gives that sunken in effect. Okay, so now you've got that kind of dead bones look. We're now going to also do it, like, in the insides of our eyes. So it kind of looks like our like eye sockets are shrunken in. So just do that. And remember, like every time that you do this, this is gonna look different every time. Really concentrate on that part of your eye, just so it looks like you've got a dead sunken in eye. I'm just using the same brush. And you can do it as dark or as light as you want. But I personally think the darker the better just because it looks more sunken in then. So there's my eye so far. Then we're going to get my brush. Just a like a fluffy brush and again where I'm gonna actually change it to a really, really black shadow because if you have a look, these two shadows are slightly different. So I'm gonna use a black, a really black one. This is from the Naked palette or the Naked Basics. And I'm just going to plaster this all over my eyelid, just to really give the dark effect. And remember, the messier the better. And bring it underneath too. And now I'm going to take just a black eyeliner and I'm going to do my waterline and my tight line. Okay, so that makes your eyes really, really dark. So now I'm going to get, this is just a wee cheek palette. Um, it's a bobby pin by JF or something. And I'm going to get this brush again and just get this red and this like blue, dark blue colour and again just put it under my eyes. And get just the red by itself and concentrate it on the outside of your eye just to make it look red and sore. Okay, so this is kind of getting a little bit scary. So now I'm going to just curl my eyelashes and put mascara on. And to make this look a wee bit girlier, you can put false eyelashes on, like big dramatic ones, but I'm not going to. Like if you were going for a night out, I think it would be quite nice, but I'm just going to put mascara on.
like that. So I can I think that kind of makes it look a little bit more girly and a little bit more cute and fun. So now I'm going to do the lips. And I'm just getting my black eyeliner again. And I'm going to bring my mirror closer just so I get it. And outline the like two, the first, like split your lip into three pieces. So there and there. So one, two, three. And colour in your one, number one and two with your black eyeliner. Just like that. Or if you have a black um, lipstick, even better. But I find I don't have one and I just use eyeliner and it also stays on the whole night, which is really good. So then I'm just getting like this ready, dark red. And this is just for Avon, and I'm just putting it in the middle. Just like that. So it kind of gives the gradient effect of the lips and you can touch up any wee bits that you need to. Okay, so there is that bit and then this is the most fun bit and I love it. So what you're going to need is a piece of toilet roll, some eyelash glue. So basically this is going to create a cut on your head so rip out like a whatever size of cut you want on your toilet roll. Really do mine really you can just like put it against where you want it. Like you can do this anywhere on your face, but I'm gonna do mine on my head. And just rip around as you to pick the size that you like. So I'm gonna do mine about that size. So then, once you've picked your size, get your, like, this palette, or whatever red you can get. I'm just using this really deep red, and using this brush, and just getting it all in the red, and, like, pe pressing it where I'm wanting this. Just so we've got, like, a warm outline of where we want it, plus it'll, it'll make it look more real. So do it like that. So it looks like you have been hit on the head. And then get your piece and make sure you can still see red around it. And if not, just add some more. It's just really trial and error. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get your eyelash glue. Which I'm just using one of the wee tester things that you get from your packet. And we're going to... Go around the outside of your toilet roll with the glue to make it stick. Use as much glue as you need because honestly the more the better probably just because it'll, it will stick longer. you can put some glue in the middle just to make it a little bit more textured like that okay so now this is going to take a wee while to dry so just make sure it's all stuck down and then wait for it to dry and then that's when we'll okay so now that the eyelash glue is all dry around here what I'm actually going to do is get this lipstick the one that I just used in my lips and just dab it on just because as I was saying I don't have blood so by doing this it's kind of making it look more like a cut and do it around the sides and on the actual thing now I'm just going to get this brush again and this black eyeshadow and dab it in like kind of do it at a angle so you're like dabbing it into the 
into the cup. and add different colours to make it look darker like just all different eyeshadows what do you think is going to make it look the scariest and the most like lifelike like that so I'm quite happy with the look, the look of my cut but of course, if you have blood, like fake blood, please use it because I think it'll just look amazing. But unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on any. So yeah, this is my look. My scary look with a cup on my head. So I think this would be great. And it's really easy to do because if you make a mistake, it looks like it's supposed to be there because it's not supposed to be a put together look. Like it's supposed to look messy and dead and horrible. And again, you can add eyelashes. You can do whatever you want with this look. So if you like this look, please thumbs it up. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.